<clears throat> I've never really felt quite right living in this skin, this skin that God he put me in. I never really understood where I'm supposed to go, if I'm supposed to just stay here or if I'm to hit the road. I've always done what I've been told and what was expected of me, to be the best that I could be for everyone else except for me. I followed all the rules, followed them to a T, went to school, got a degree, got a great job, even got married, but still I haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. This little life I planned so well, following all those rules, didn't really fit me right like an uncomfortable pair of shoes. So I kicked it off just like some shoes and wiggled my toes a bit. I felt the grass beneath my feet like I hadn't felt before and I thought to myself, this is it. I can start out fresh and do the things that I want to do instead of what I'm told to do by a society trying to shove things down my throat, make me fit a mold that just can't hold everything I feel inside. I just want to explode. So I hit the road to see all those places and faces I'd never seen, looking for some clues to find that what I'd left behind wasn't really me, wasn't really mine, but more a part I played like an actor on a stage, trying to make believe that was me, but it wasn't me at all. It was all just a farce, more a lie, a game I played with me to make them say, you're doing great, you're on your way, keep it up kid, you'll get there someday. But I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go, which path I'm supposed to choose. I thought I'd have it solved by now, I'm nearly all grown up, but still I feel like a stranger in my skin, like I'm wearing a jacket that's just too thin and need to add some layers of, on of stuff I've yet to find, layers of life, of knowledge and peace of mind, to calm the raging storm inside that doesn't let me sit and stay but makes me want to run away, driven by an obsessive compulsion to find what it is that will make me feel right in this skin, this skin that God he put me in. When I get older, I want to adopt a white baby, a black baby, and an Asian baby, and give them all Hispanic names. And I'm going to love them all equally, treat them all equally, and tell them that despite their looks, they're all the same. I'll tell them that if society tells them otherwise, that society is wrong and they should never feel ashamed. I'll tell them that people with narrow minds deserve to only be taken with a grain. Regardless if you have black ancestors, Mexican or Indian ancestors, relatives of Asian descent, why the hell do you live in America if all you want to do is resent? Our ancestors fought to be equal, not better, but equal, not separate, but equal. Why do you think there was a resistance? Because the definition of equivalence means that there is no difference. Melting pot means mold together, not proof who's better. If you want to discriminate against someone, discriminate against stupid people. If you want to judge someone, judge ignorant people. If you want pride, pride yourself on your own accomplishments. Pride yourself on what you, yourself, have achieved personally. Because when you think you're better because of your race, you've reversed what your ancestors fought for. It was the job of your ancestors to hate those that hurt them. Now it's your job to be strong and let it go so that this society can move up a notch. I mean, come on. We live in the millennium. None of us know what it's like to be slaves, Indians, or pilgrims. It's people like you that will make life difficult for my future children. I want to be colorblind for my children's sake because the color of my skin or the sound of my name is not what makes me great. When I get older, I'm going to adopt a white baby, a black baby, and an Asian baby. And I will love them and tell them they're all the same. And even though society will make them suffer a lot of pain and frustrate, they will stay strong. Because triumph comes with strength, but ignorance comes, ignorance comes with hate. And I do believe that one day, even if it's after I die, I will win this debate. Fuck yeah. Miss Marsden, you don't have to do crazy things to amuse me. I think you're good, like a bowl of sushi. When you touch me, my legs shake. I want to be on you like butter on pancakes. <laughs> when you step in the room, I can't help but look in your direction. Just thinking about you gives me an erection. <laughs> Fuck this, let's run away, just you and me. I don't care if you're 53. Thank you. And surprisingly, I went to a B plus. <laughs> war and peace, war and peace. Peace and war, peace and war. Then war and peace, war and peace. And peace and war, peace and war. 
War and peace, peace and war, so they call it The end of times, like riddles of life Lust and love, given into the device of technology Weapons of war, new thrill of kill Disease of flu of hatred Captivating greedy minds, dollar signs Worried about the economy But I ask, what is the economic worth of humanity? Make it seem a must to wear a military suit To gain respect and earn a living wage It's a masterpiece, conspiracy Political parties got you screaming loud, but the soul be more profound. Seek the sound, poetry be found. Free will, the gift of the heavens. Still, I'm always left asking why. I'm giving into the pleasures of sinful lust, systematic religious spiritual wars within. But I'm armed with a fistful of steel. The microphone is my weapon and shield. Ready for Armageddon. It's again war and peace, war and peace, and a peace and war, peace and war, a war and peace, war and peace, a peace. Peace and war, peace and war, war and peace, peace and war, yeah, like a chessboard strategy in combat, the king always looking to be protected by the pawn, his people gotta take his orders always all the time, be ready to die and sacrifice for the higher class and power, rooks, bishops and knights, but the might always be held by the queen, so seductive, she move at any time, checkmate your fate, give it into a system that leaves you faithless, hopeless to believe in nothing, but our existence is a question, good and bad or bad and good, one cannot be without the other, so uncover, false prophets, fake puppets, always left asking why, I'm giving in to the pleasures of sinful lust, systematic religious spiritual wars within, but I'm armed with the fist full of steel, the microphone is my weapon and shield, I'm giving into the pleasures of sinful for us, systematic religious spiritual wars within, but I'm armed with a fist full of steel. The microphone is my weapon and shield, ready for Armageddon. I said, Let go of all your sinful ways, only through love you will find truth. Let go of all your sinful ways. Only through love you will find true. I keep giving in to the pleasures of sinful lust, systematic religious spiritual wars with it. But I'm armed with a fist full of steel. The microphone is my weapon and shield, ready for Armageddon.